Hey guys, it's Bryony. I'm um, just in the car now and I'm recording on my iPhone because I went shopping with my mum and she just popped into a uh, waitress at the moment. But um, we were, were just going out food shopping in general because I'm really, really achy from dancing yesterday and I was cramping a little bit at one point. So I had a very minor wave of cramping while we were driving to the health food store to pick up some tempeh for a recipe I'm doing. and. I had a look down at my underwear and I've set on my period so um, I'm gonna grab my camera when we get home in a minute and start recording today but I just wanted to say that it is it's actually bang on three o'clock now on Sunday the 9th of October um, and I actually had a 26 day cycle this month so it's getting longer it's getting back to where it was before um, but this will be my fourth cycle I think since I became plant-based so we'll see how it goes and I'm back home um, I actually need to go put a pad and I haven't got around to doing that yet but we just brought in all the food I'm debating whether or not to do like a mini haul in the video but I'm, I've am i got quite a lot of stuff here I think it might take too long to do it today but I know I'll do it and I'll see if I've got time I'll stick it in the video um, but yeah just in case anyone's wondering I often get quite a few questions about this dress if I'm wearing it's like an anime inspired dress so um, yeah I just thought I'd put a sort of anime outfit together today and this room is an absolute t I really need to tie it up I just I can't even better look at it right now um but yeah I'm just gonna get done unpacking this food get uh, a pad on and then we'll see how we are I also probably will put some CBD um cream on my wrists which I'll show you in a minute right so this is the CBD pen um never wants to focus so I have to put my face close to get it to do maybe sit there Mary's Nutritionals um it's actually slightly past, past its use by date so I'm gonna use a lot of it but what I do is it's got a, a nozzle that you twist to open and then you just kind of squirt it on your wrist it looks like that and I'm gonna do three pumps of this actually that one wasn't a proper one there we go and then I just rub my wrists together like that you need to do it on an area of your body where there's the veins are quite close to the skin um, so either on your ankles or on your wrists or even on your temples if you've got a headache it can work quite well for but I just do this and let it sink in. Outfit change again um, we had to take some pictures of me in a formal outfit for um, something that I'm applying for but which I probably can't say um, yeah at the moment my pure cramps are right I did think I'd need to take some ibuprofen earlier and I got the packet out but actually I haven't had to yet and I don't think I'm bleeding heavily enough yet for me to need to do that. I have got a Mimi's Dreams pad on. I'm just a regular, not a heavy. Uh, but I think I'm still in the this, the phase of getting started. When it actually starts bleeding a lot heavier, then I'll kind of update you more on the pain side of things. But certainly so far, all right. And uh, I did manage to put makeup on and wear a reasonably tight-fitting dress without too much discomfort. So it's coming up to eight o'clock now in the evening. Um, my period still hasn't like fully started. I'm only just tiny, like, spotting really but I think it might have even stopped a bit now um see so yeah, I'm not sure when it's gonna completely start it is normal for me actually um it's quite common for my period to just like be very very little at the beginning and then start again but usually by this point after a couple of hours would have kicked in but who knows we'll see so I'll probably be filming tomorrow as well um I also need to think about dinner but I think I'm just gonna do some pasta or something simple because not feeling that hungry um but yeah so it's coming up to like 20 to 10 now and for some reason like the last 30 minutes I've just had this I've got this like tingling chest pain and oh, I hate it when it happens like it's not restricting my breathing or anything but it's just really like unpleasant and I don't know what's caused it I think I need to go and take some magnesium that's usually like if I haven't taken enough magnesium that's usually what sparks it um, unfortunately I can't have a bath at the moment because uh, the upstairs, the flat above me, their toilet leaked and came through and destroyed the electrics in two of the lights in the bathroom. So I obviously can't turn the lights on because I could electrocute myself. Um, but it also activates the fan, the extractor fan. Um, and I could technically have a bath if I open the window, but it's quite cold at the moment. And um, I just don't feel like lighting all the candles and all that kind of stuff because you have to put all the torches on and all the candles on just to be able to see. Um, and I just can't be asked to do that at the moment. It is getting fixed, hopefully, on Tuesday. So, you know, it's been a week like that at the moment. So if we can get that fixed soon, that'd be good. Um, but yeah, like, my chest, it's, like, right under my breast, like, under here and kind of, like, around my back. 
Um, I don't know if I've mentioned before, I am really, really stiff today. It's Sunday and on Saturday I have dancing. And yesterday was the first day that my dance teacher came back and took our Saturday class. She was in America for a while and then was obviously really jet lagged. So we had a, a substitute for a while. Um, and she was really pushing us. So my legs are just absolutely dead. I don't know if like <laughs> my knees are pretty, pretty bruised. Hang on a second because I've not got any charles on but i don't think oh they actually don't look too bad on camera but yeah i've just got a couple of bruises on my knees um and i'm just generally really really sore and yeah uh not fun the chest pain periods pain fine not feeling a thing but just i hate chest pain absolutely hate it and i really need to go and get like a drink and something to eat but i don't really want to move right now if i lie back and just like completely still and breathe gently it's fine like the pain will go but if i'm like sitting up like this for example is not the best thing for it and yeah i haven't had this in a while but thankfully it's not too severe i've just got to get up and do something about it in a minute it's half past 11 now um i had some uh, vegan chili con carne and also put some more um of the cbd cream on my wrist i don't have a patch anymore i think i need to get some more so unfortunately i don't have that this month but um, i put some on my wrist and now the chest pain and all the shooting pains in my body have completely stopped um, so whether that was just because I ate something or because I put the cream on, um, I'm not entirely sure, but I don't care because it's gone. Um, I think I'm just going to have a little snack now um, and get myself a drink before bed and then I will probably see you in the morning unless something happens in the night. Good morning everyone. It is 9.20 now and i just woken up. Um, went to go in to the toilet and change my pad and here it is definitely solid now so I've just put on a heavy tortoise wing things pad right now just gonna start doing some work since Monday um just go through some emails and have a look at some comments and stuff and then we'll see what we're gonna do today it's like one o'clock now and I've pretty much finished all my work that I have to do um I've realized there's actually kind of quite a few things to say I need to do that I can't talk to you or even show you um so it was quite a bad day for my period to come up in that regards um but yeah pretty much finished my work and just having a, a chill day my pain lies like hang on a second let me pull these blinds and maybe i'm not gonna there you go um pain oh now i look a bit more normal pain wise um i am cramping it's very minor uh just kind of like an underlying thing there i've only needed to take like one ibuprofen tablet and that's keeping on top of it i've also been putting again the cbd cream on my wrist um, I think I might even take, I think I've still got some of the oral one that I have that I could put under my tongue and I'll take some of that a bit later. But yeah, I've just had lunch. Um, I treated myself to a pot noodle because I was just feeling so tired. That's the problem I had to have, just feeling quite tired. Um, and it's actually just because I've had a really busy week and I think today is the first day I can actually kind of chill and just relax and have fun kind of thing. But yeah, that's currently what's going on right now. I'm not really doing much. Um, I did just put, um... The baby who's staying with me at the moment, his nappies in the wash because we've been using cloth nappies on him. Um, don't know if any of you are interested, I got some newborn nappies from the cloth nappy library and we've been trying them out on him. So if anyone's got any uh, that they'd like a review on, I guess I could also do a, in a separate video, a, a video about that with a cloth nappy and a newborn. Um, I mean, I've not been the one really doing it, it's been his mum, but I have changed his nappy quite a few times and seen how things fit and how they've washed up and stuff. So yeah. That's currently what's happening. It's 3.30 now. I was actually gonna grab my camera out about 10 minutes ago um, while I had the baby with me who, um, I need to give a name for him. Maybe I'll call him Jack or something, Baby Jack, just for the sake of YouTube. Um, and he was fine, like totally content, and then just suddenly it started screaming. And his poor mom, his mum was praying, so I was watching him while she was doing that. And um, I realized he needed a new nappy, but I couldn't get round her to go and get the new nappy. And I was like, crap what am I gonna do where are the wipes when you need them and I would have actually had a spare nappy in the sitting room until this morning when I moved it um into his room but uh <laughs> yeah that was that was quite funny it just was like completely calm to not to screaming and screaming he's having a feet now but yeah um I can't I'm thinking about possibly baking some cookies later I found a really good recipe for vegan chop chip cookies um and the last time I just completely messed up because I completely forgot that they don't tend to go really brown when you're break, baking like chop chip chunk cookies um and so i left them in for way too long they went really hard and were just basically inedible uh so i might have another go at that later so i just got back from the chiropractor like 20 minutes ago and um this one's 
um, took this one off his mum's hand so she could pray and he's finally fallen asleep. Um, so that's the washing machine you can probably hear in the background. I am going to close the vlog here. Didn't get a chance to cook the cookies, which I didn't think I would actually, but I'm just going to make probably some pasta for dinner and um, I really want to be able to edit this vlog. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.